as you can see we've taken off the rubber piece off here and mine this piece of foam has actually torn in previous incarnations of me taking this this off and on so i've actually ordered a, a new one this is a piece that we're replacing and it's on quite firmly so just put the blade underneath and pull it upwards and you can take this off now i want to show you the difference between a worn one let's put that down there and a brand new one it's just the teeth at the very ends if you have a look this is the worn one and this one is the new one there is hardly any difference in between it but that's the difference between a really rattly blade can you see there's a lot of wear on the sides of this this is a lot squarer okay so we're going to just pause the video for a minute while i clean up the clippers and then we'll resume Right everyone, this is um, how you change the drive lever in Heinegger clippers. First of all, you're going to need the parts. The parts are the drive lever itself. And I got the drive levers from Pease Ridge. Pease Ridge here. And as you can see, they really aren't expensive at all. So everyone is paying 20 to 40 pounds to have their clipper service. Bear in mind this is how much the parts cost. You're going to need a Torx screwdriver. I don't know if you can see the end of that. It's a star shape. And this is the number 10 size. And you need to take out six screws to take the body off but the first thing you need to do is take the battery off of course so you take the battery off there's a seventh little screw in there that catches lots of people out this one's only a half size screw i'm going to take all the screws off first I was showing somebody how to do this once and she couldn't get the case off for love nor money and we talked about it on the internet for ages and she said no, no no it won't come out it won't come out well when she brought it over this screw holes in the middle here were so packed with fur she couldn't see that there were actually screws in there so just bear in mind there are six on the case itself and two and one rather in where the battery case goes all the screws are the same size with the exception of the battery case so you don't have to worry about mixing them up so once you have taken the screws out the case comes off with a gentle wiggle like that so you can discard this I'm going to take this off and clean it properly and we're left with the assembly I'm going to take out this piece here now by unscrewing these screws and these are historically really stupidly tight and they have the same stupidly long screws in them that the case does again so you can see it doesn't matter if you mix them up or not okay so take those off this piece will then just wiggle gently off and it comes off in one piece. If you can keep this bit attached, it makes it easier for assembling it later. So we now have to take off this, which as you can see, it's a bit mingy, that's going to need cleaning. And okay, so I have given this a quick blast with the blaster to get rid of any dog hair and I have redated it with today's date 11th of August 2017 so I know when it was last done I've held you have to hold this in with your thumb because this bit comes the whole of this assembly comes out so blast it off I've cleaned the spring so that's nice and shiny and clean and I'm now going to put a little blob of grease on it so that it's greased for the next use 
around the spring. This is actually Molly grease. Um, you do get a grease with this the, the, when you buy the Heinegger's it comes with grease and which is a, a sort of clear honey colour. Mine seems to have temporarily gone a well, but Molly grease will do the job just well. So that's all nice and greased. And we can start reassembling it. So we're going to put making sure we've got the new lathe lever. And I want a new kind of, if you remember, my sponge had disintegrated. Well, these clippers are about five years old, so it's not really surprising. So it had torn. So I ordered two new sponges because I always have two pairs of clippers. So as you can see, look, spangly new sponge. How cool is that? So I'm going to put my sponge and fit it like that first. And then that drops neatly into over the pin like that. And you have to clunk it down and seat it quite firmly like that. That's on, and if you want to check that it's working, you can quickly assemble it and switch it on. If that's not waggling frantically, then it's not seated properly. You see? All right, so we know it's working perfectly, so it's good to continue. That's it. Oh, so it hasn't quite seated properly. Can you hear? Did you hear that nice solid thunk as it goes in? So we've got the sponge and the blade lever on like that. Now we're going to assemble the back piece. Now, do you, if you remember, now this piece, as you remember, came off in one piece. It does actually come apart like that, and it may well come apart as you are um, reassembling it. So bear in mind there are two little pins here, this one and that one and two tiny holes here and here and they have to sit on the pins so it's worth your while making sure it's completely seated like that so the finished assembly has an equal size gap at the bottom and this is in the down position that will enable you to seat it on here so this has to go over the ears of the drive lever and then sit firmly inside these guides here okay then you get your first screws and put your screws in not the tiny one that's the bottom one let's put the first screw a little way in like that Another screw in the other side, part of the way in. And then screw that side, and then that side, and then that side. that side just up firm it doesn't have to be so tight that you can't move it now I'm just going to check that that still works so I'm going to pop that back on that's perfect okay take the battery off again still working great then I align my little rubber dust flap here and it sits on a pin either side of the sponge at the top and then we can snap that back together. The first one I put in is the one that I always forget. And that's this little tiny one at the bottom here. Let's tighten that up. And then we're going to drop these ones in. they're all the same size it doesn't matter which screw goes into which hole okay and then tighten them up diagonally halfway 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 a little bit more 
I think six screws personally is a bit of an overkill, but he put six in, so I'm going to tighten them all up. And that really is it. It shouldn't take more than 20 minutes, even on your first attempt to do it. It's cost the sum total. So having spent the sum total of about £3.50, I've now got beautifully clean new clippers, which sound lovely. My blades won't rattle on them. I've got nice little bunny ears there, which are perfect squares, which stop the rattling. And it shouldn't take you more than about 20 minutes, even if you're beginning. Good luck.